Hey everybody, Grant with Renew Auto here. We'll do a quick walk around video of the Bentley Arnage. Try to show all the panels at different angles. Uh, show the, right now the engine's running. Show that there's no strange noises or ticks. Anything like that. Runs super, super smooth. I've had the vehicle idling for probably 30 or 40 minutes just now while we've been doing photos and not overheating at all. AC blows cold. No air lights or anything on the dashboard. Just dead smooth on the interior. Um, do a quick lap of the outside since we're starting to lose light. Starting at this corner, not seeing any dings on this quarter panel. Uh, no curb rash on this wheel. Got really good tread depth on these tires. No leaks, anything on the undercarriage. Looks like this driver's side door doesn't have any dings. Looking for any kind of dents on these panels. Any significant scratches. Side view mirror's in good shape. As is the, the windshield, no chips or scratches there. The roof doesn't have any dents or dings there. Uh, fuel floor cap does function. And you can see that there isn't any corrosion or anything on the lower section of that cap. All of the chrome trim is in really, really good shape across all the windows. As is this back corner and this wheel doesn't have any curb rash either. No significant rust or anything on the mufflers in the rear. Trunk is in awesome shape there. Little nick on the bumper right there. Hopefully that's showing up on video. Try to see if there's any others here across the back. Chrome doesn't have any big scratches or anything on it. Looks like we've got a... Oh, I thought that was a scratch, just a piece of grass on the bumper there. Uh, no curb rash on this wheel. Oh, actually looks like a little scuff right there, possibly. Um, tread is also in good shape there. Passenger side chrome's in good shape and you can tell how good the rubber is as well that's that's a big thing if the cars spend any time outside on these bentleys you're going to get a lot of dry rotting and whatnot on these weather strippings but that makes it so it just rides silent no wood noise or anything when you're driving down the freeway looks like we've got one little nick that's already been filled with touch-up paint right there Pretty hard to see, but I just want to be as transparent as possible about the condition of the vehicle. Got one little, oh, no, that came off. Looks like a little touch-up paint spot right there on the side view mirror. Again, windshield cowl is in awesome, awesome shape. Just stellar condition, as is all the rubber weather stripping around the side marker. Passenger side, front wheel. Little bit of a scuff right there, not super noticeable. And then we get tread on that tire as well. Vehicle runs and drives just as good as it looks. I've been driving it myself the past couple of weeks, and it's just dead smooth at lights, shifts super smooth, doesn't have any air lights on the dashboard. I mean, just awesome, and everything functions with the exception of this window. I can hear a relay clicking, but the window doesn't roll up and down, but everything else does. So, power locks. I wish you could feel through the, uh, the crispness of that door opening. That's, that's G-Wagon levels of <laughs> door opening. If any of you have ever owned a G-Wagon, you know what I'm talking about. But no cracking or anything on this wood trim on the interior. I really like that Bentley it uses kind of a different wood on some of these inlays, which is really cool. I'll show that the, uh, oh, if I know how to use the, there we go, windshield wipers. 
AC does blow cold. Got all the interior lights. Oh, and then of course the sunroof. Uh, side view mirror adjusters. Let's see if you can see that those work. It does have the, I thought this was an aftermarket stereo, but my understanding is Alpine actually partnered with Bentley to make this radio. <laughs> Totally clean ashtray, never been smoked in, no odors on the interior, um, windows. Now we got the back one, and then passenger window. Glove box, which does include booklets and info. And then, of course, your clock adjustment and valet mode for the trunk. I love that the glove box itself is chrome and leather lined. And that's just such a, such a cool detail. Center console's in really good shape. No significant cracking or anything there. The details on the car are just awesome. And this leather stitched sun visor. And then of course you've got the wood grain vanity mirrors. Try to show that that section in there the chrome trim on all of these i'm mean, just gorgeous build quality leather wrapped grab handles with the chrome detail same as the um, seat belt inserts really really cool dark green color on the belts to match all the trim and everything airbag on the steering wheels in great shape a little bit of wear at the top of the steering wheel to, i mean normal nothing abnormal of course but show that all the lights there work. Oh yeah, headlights. And then uh, adjuster as well. It does come with a set of uh, three keys with the remotes. Here's your CD changer. Plug for your 56K modem or telephone apparently. I'm sure there's no rust or corrosion on any of these areas. Oh. It does have the remote as well for the locks. Just beautiful chrome detailing and wood. And that's my favorite thing about the vehicle is the interior. It just feels so special. Looks like a little bit of creasing on the the headliner in that area. The arnage on the sill plates. The, I love the contrasting green on the carpet piping. Just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful build quality. Leather, leather on the inside. I mean, just, just everything. It's such a cool, cool car. And again, with the exception of that window, which might just be a regular, I haven't even looked into it, everything functions on the vehicle. You have the Bentley logo with the uh, magnetic key insert. All of your floor mats, matching umbrellas. Uh, I've got this Alpine unit back there. And then I photographed all of the uh, tools and everything are underneath the trunk storage area. You can see just how clean everything is. I mean, 50,000 miles and even the floor mats are just in stellar, stellar shape. It, oh, it does have the uh, power latching trunk, which works, as well as the antenna. Power antenna does go up and down with the radio coming on and off. Yeah, my favorite part of that car, of the car probably, is that snap from opening the door. It's such like a, just like a significant click, if you will, when you activate that door latch. The seat belts and everything in the back seat are in good shape. Chrome, again, no corrosion on the door sills. Actually, under the 
in order to show that there's no rust or anything there. You can just see how wide this weather stripping is across the door too. Some of that contrasting wood on the uh, inserts. Maybe somebody in the comments can mention why, why Bentley does that. There's a couple of different areas where the wood, where you don't really see it all the time, is actually a different style of wood. I'd be super curious to learn a little bit more about that. Uh, it does have the bolsters for the seats. Oh, and the, uh, the seat heaters. Those function as well. There is, I did notice while driving, a little bit of stretch right there on the, uh, the dash, but otherwise leather's in awesome shape everywhere. Oh yeah, then I forgot this button. For your DVD, or excuse me, CD ROM <laughs> navigation. How cool is that? Just awesome, awesome build quality on this car. This has been one of my favorites that we've had this year. Um, you get 50,000 miles on this drive, it's awesome. I've put a couple hundred miles on it myself, selfishly. Never had an air light, never had a weird, you know, suspension creak or a rattle or anything. Starts every time, shifts super smooth. Just an awesome, awesome car. Um, if I went over anything too fast in the video, let me know. I'm happy to take pictures of anything in particular, take videos of anything. Uh, you can DM me directly, I'll send those to you, or just text me, grant at renewauto.com for email, or 435-278-8915 for text, and we'll talk to you then. Thanks.